Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Floragene and Suntory Flowers. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, I'm introducing you to the Applause Rose from Floragene and Suntory Flowers. Today, I'd like to introduce to you the Applause Rose. This is a special rose that was created by our friends at Floragene, who are experts in genetic modification for color of specific varieties of flowers. One of the quests at Floragene is to create a true blue rose, and they continue to do research to get that blue delphinidin gene into the rose. With this one, this is the same delphinidin gene that they use with the Floragene carnations. You've probably seen this rose at the Grammy Awards along with the Floragene carnations. And one of the great things about this rose is that the standard grading process is all at 40 centimeters. So you'll notice I have a pile over here. They're all the same length. The rose sizes are all the same. That's extremely valuable to us when we're creating special event work. And we want to have hundreds, thousands of roses that are all the same size and the same length. These are created to be a 40 centimeter rose. And you know, when we're creating wedding bouquets or if we're creating something like this with a sphere, we don't need a huge length of stem. And so we can pack more in boxes, we can have more in buckets, and we're guaranteed that they all look the same. That's the great part about the grading process. So today, we're going to create a special event centerpiece using the applause rose. We're gonna create a sphere that is all roses. And then we have two garlands here from our friends at Fern Trust. I love the garlands that Fern Trust creates because they're all custom. I don't know why anyone wouldn't let Fern Trust do all their garland work. I talk to people all the time who say, oh, we're gonna make our own garlands. I let Fern Trust do all the heavy lifting. I simply call them, tell them I want a garland with Aspidistra, Pittosporum, and Pomosa, and they make it to whatever length I need. I ask for two four foot lengths, they're identical, they're ready to go. We're gonna use those to decorate the table and also to come out of the centerpiece. And then, we'll glue our beautiful applause roses directly into the garland. It's a wonderful way for us to do things ahead of time for special events and also to be able to depend on the quality we get from Florigene. Let me show you how it's done. In our vase, we have a soaked eight inch flower foam sphere. I've soaked it in Chrysler Professional 3 that's going to give nutrients to my flowers so they'll continue to open up throughout the event. I soaked it and set it out so that any excess water could drain out. That will make it easier for me to arrange in and also not have drips that are gonna go down inside the vase. We'll fill it in using these applause roses. Notice how each rose is the same size so my sphere is gonna look uniform. It's simply cutting each row short and placing it directly into the foam. Have our garlands. Again, my garlands are from Fern Trust. They created this with Aspidistra leaves, Pittosporum, and also Plumose. 
This is three of their core foliages that are from Florida and they're absolutely beautiful. I want to insert my garland into my sphere. Now, there's just an end on this where it's been wired. So I pull back the foliage and insert a bamboo skewer in. It'll snug down in there real tight. Then I can trim it off and stick it directly into the foam. That way I have one hole that goes into the sphere. Because this garland has density, I'm gonna be able to glue extra rose accents directly in. That's the easiest way to deal with flowers. And again, these Florigene roses are so durable and so long lasting. Just like the carnations, the roses last longer because of the genetic modification. We're gonna cut them short. We'll apply rubber cement to the garland and rubber cement to the back of the rose. I know there've been some issues with floral adhesive in the marketplace and everyone was calling and asking me, what do I do? Rubber cement works just as effectively. It comes with a little brush. You apply it to both surfaces, let it dry for a few minutes and then place them together. It's that simple, but you have to remember to apply glue to both surfaces and use plenty. Then, when it's dry, you place them together and it sticks hmm, like glue. Yeah, that's what it sticks like. So there we go. It's a pretty simple process, especially when you're dealing with quality materials. And applause roses are perfect. All the same length, all the roses are the same size. I filled in my sphere completely. I was able to glue my accents with my roses all along my beautiful garland, and it's all set up. That's what being a florist and a professional florist is all about. Using the best quality materials you can have to make the most beautiful wedding and event work you can. These are the memories people will think about forever. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers. <laughs>